Hello Internet and welcome to CodeBig. In this video, we will be looking at Fresh, a new full stack web framework for Dino. Client side rendering has become more popular in the recent years. Frameworks like React, Angular, and Vue help us build complex UI with relative ease. But client side rendering is expensive. These frameworks often will ship hundreds of kilobytes of client-side JavaScript to the user on each request. These JavaScript bundles often do little more than rendering static content that could just as well have been served as a plain HTML. Some newer frameworks like Next.js supports server-side rendering. This help reduce page load time by pre-rendering the content on the server. But most current implementation still ships the entire rendering infrastructure for the full application to every client so the page can be fully re-rendered on the client. This is bad development as client-side JavaScript is really expensive, slows down user experience and drastically increases power consumption on mobile devices and is not very robust. This is where Fresh comes in. Fresh uses a different model, one where you ship 0 KB of JavaScript to the client by default, one where majority of the rendering is done on the server and the client is responsible for re-rendering small island of interactivity. At its core, Fresh is a routing framework and a templating engine that renders page as they are requested on a server. In addition to this, Fresh also provides an interface for seamlessly rendering some components on the client for maximum interactivity. The framework uses pReact and JSX or TSX for rendering and templating on both the server and the client. Client rendering is completely opt-in on a per-component level and as such, many applications will ship no JavaScript to the client at all. In addition to this, Fresh does not have a build step. The code you write is directly the code that is run on the server and client side and many necessary transpilation of JSX or TSX to plain JavaScript is done just in time when needed. This allows for almost instant deployments. Now, let's look at some code, shall we? Let's scaffold a new project by running the following command. You can find this in the video description as well. This script generates the minimum boilerplate required for a fresh project in the folder you specified as the last argument to the script. If you look at the project structure, it might remind you of Next.js or PHP as all these systems use file system routing. But for now, direct your attention on the routes folder. It contains the handler and the templates for each route of the application. The name of each file defines which path the route matches. Don't worry about all the different files and folders here for now. I have an upcoming video series where I teach you how to build a dynamic website using Fresh, Dino and Tailwind. Consider subscribing if you don't want to miss out on those videos. For now, Let's start the Dino project by running the command Dino task start. If you look at the terminal where you run the command, it says generated three routes and one island. Don't worry about what islands are for now. You can see that the server is listening on localhost 8000. You can head over to the URL on the browser. But before doing that, let me just open the inspect element and head over to network tab. Now, I paste the URL and hit return. You are greeted with a simple website which has static content and a counter that can be incremented or decremented based on the user action. But, concentrate on the main.js file in the network tab. It tells the file size is 0 byte and it's fulfilled by disk cache. Now, let me just head over to any other route and see what happens. In this case, I head over to the route codebig and if I hit return, it just prints hello codebig on the screen. This is handled by dynamic route file here. How cool is that? To conclude, 
Fresh is a next generation web framework for Dino and it offers many new and exciting features out of the box. That's it for this video guys. See you in the next video. Happy coding until then.